Okay, guys. Hope we've all <laughs> been doing well this past week in ISO. Mm. Feel like maybe restrictions will start to be lifted. But first article Stop holding me back. this week mm. is totally not related to quarantine. Good, good. Okay, so mm. how old is too old to have a baby? Because. Are you going to let me answer? Okay, go. Um, uh, 18. <laughs> he doesn't want to say it. Wait, what? Too old, too <laughs> old. Go. Over 50? <laughs> Over 47. 50. 47 to be exact, okay. Why the yeah, 47? Yeah, because 18 years later, they'll be 65. Oh. And once you're, once you're legal retirement age. You, you're big on be that legal. T- <laughs> <laughs> I'm, jo- I'm joking. That legal retirement I, had to, I had to come up with a number. <laughs> oh, okay, Maxi Max. How old too old to have a kid? Yeah. Mm. Well, it's a spectrum. Uh, <laughs> 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 for some people, it can be as young as early 30s. For others, maybe as late as 90. <laughs> okay, very political answer. Okay, n- 90. <laughs> 90. 90. <laughs> You're going to go with 90. <laughs> Final answer, Jeff. <laughs> I think 90 is too well to have a kid. Sorry. Okay, um, CJ, what do you think? All the 90-year-olds out, out there, I apologize. To be, to be okay. too old. 70. If you're 90 okay. and you have the capability of having a kid, I mean, you've already pushed the limits. You might as well. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. What? To push the limits. So, um, this. But uh, first, but who's going to get the ninety-year-old pregnant? Because <laughs> one of them is going to be, one of them is going to be like dust, you know? Like dust. <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness gracious, CJ. Um. So, well, this is the article. Yes. Sixty-eight-year-old Nigerian woman's just become a mum. Not just a mum to one. But a mum to twins. Wow. Margaret Adenuga gave birth to twin boy and girl with her 70-year-old husband. They have been trying for a baby for the past 43 years. Wow. Never gave up. They have not given up. 43 years. That's incredible. Why did they adopt? It's insane. So, yeah, I mean, good question. I didn't even think about that, actually. Such like, if you question. wanted a kid, I'm just, I'm just thinking in the mind of someone who wants a kid that bad. <clears throat> yeah. Stop. I don't know. It's like, yeah, you don't, you, you, you know, time's a finite thing. They, that's a long time to wait and risk. That's, I know well, that. Maybe, they, maybe for them it's our baby or no baby at all. Like, what? I don't know. It depends maybe. on how about adopting, uh... right? I don't. And maybe once you get to a certain age, are you even allowed to adopt? Ooh, oh, good question. good question. See, there's all these questions. You older, you got more life experience. If you if you're legally too <laughs> old to adopt, <laughs> less life to live. That's, that's kind of the downside. <laughs> well, they've had three unsuccessful attempts at IVF prior, even even going to England to try it once. Um, but then finally, they got pregnant through IVF. Um, and yes, 70 and 68 years old with twin kids now. Um, and the hospital were like, we would never have done the procedure, the IVF procedure, but obviously we have the medical responsibility to help deliver the babies. Like, this is crazy. This is crazy because I don't know, like I'm losing my patience now. I can only <laughs> imagine... At seventy year old, waking up at like two in the morning, or like or oh, every two hours to like, hey, can she can she cause can she already, get breast do, can she breastfeed? They're already waking up. Go to the toilet. They have to wake up to pee. Yeah, yeah, themselves. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, I'll change your nappy. No, oh. I change my nappy. <laughs> <laughs> you go wee wee. I go wee wee. <laughs> but I don't know. I, That's I mean, crazy. How do you how do you think you'd react if? These were people you personally knew. Congratulate them. Well done. Whatever you need, I'm going to help. I mean, this would be Whatever older you need. than your mum. This what? would be older not, than not our to, parents. Not to them. I'm talking about in your, like in your in, to yourself. What what would be your thoughts? Oh, to myself. Yeah. What the hell were you, you thinking? Know. What were the <laughs> hell are you thinking? Like, um, yeah. If my parents come up to me, but these are older like, than your parents. Yeah, I'm like, what are you doing? 
You shouldn't be having that kind of uh, thing between you two. <laughs> stop that. You stop that rubbish. <laughs> stop it, you two. Stop Leave it. Leave it for the younger people. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> You've had your time. <laughs> Uh, I don't my, know. my initial thoughts just always just come back what like what if the parents don't outlast the kids childhood what are these childhood. two gonna do yeah i know because they've yeah. got no other kids because uh, i was thinking oh my, i wonder if their kids will help them raise them no they don't have other kids to help them raise them these are their kids yeah um They'll raise each other They're twins yeah they at least they have each other that's a good po- actually they have each other being twins that's actually a good point um, yeah, because two 12 year olds having each other is all you need in life. It's better than being alone. Yeah. It's two 12 year olds <laughs> and one 24 year old. And to be fair, I, I can, I can, about 24, I couldn't raise myself. <laughs> <laughs> they, um, they have faced a lot of backlash from fertility doctors and people, but um, yes. That I mean, I mean you only have y- YOLO. Good on them, YOLO, but that's a lot of challenges coming. I can't believe they never gave up trying. See, that's the thing. I, I feel like it's kind of a selfish decision. Like when you're saying YOLO, YOLO for them, but not for, Yeah, not so you're, just, the, you're purely thinking that the kids are going to be at a disadvantage now. Mm. Unless these two beat the odds, because no um, life expectancy in the world is, seven, is 88, which would be the dad's age by the time they turn 18. So unless right. they beat the odds, these kids are not going to have parents by the time they're 18. But do you know the odds of, ki- of, of life expectancy for people that can have a baby at 68? I don't think that's mm. how life expectancy works. Well, yeah, but... Body obviously right. functions that's at today. a better level than... Life ex- it's not directly correlated to... Yeah, but this was yeah, IVF, it's, it's... so it wasn't like yeah, natural. It's, it's not... Well, oh, oh, I, I don't know. Pers- personally, I think it's an irresponsible thing to do. Like, mm. I get, I can get why, especially if you've been trying for forty three years. I can get like why you'd want to do it if you want to have a kid and all that. But again, if you if you want a kid that bad, adopt earlier on. Like in my mind, mm. I don't. Well, I guess know. then the other thing is the question is like, what are the? Do they have a family which is because like, where was this done? Nigeria. So still- in Nigeria, uh, I think. Uh, the 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 they often still raise kids as families, right? Yeah, they must. Hopefully, family. they have a tight family structure. Oh, as a tribe, you mean? Well, tribe. Are yeah, like uh, there are like tri- a there are tribes, but yeah, you mean yeah, just I mean, as a community? Just, yeah, yeah, like yeah. A, they're more yeah. of a family. So, say yeah. if uh, they have a kid, and I don't know, the, they have like active carers who are family members all the time, and maybe it's a different environment, and maybe it's less of a selfish decision. Hmm. But that but, still is, regardless of that, that's still to me, even if you raise kids in that way, that's still selfish because you're bringing, a, you're bringing kids into this community and then dipping out. Hmm. Like you're not, it, even when you raise kids as a community, you're still, as a parent, you're still the, the main provider for that child. Yeah, but why, that's like, I'm, I'm stretching here. I'm saying I think there are circumstances where it cannot be selfish. I think it, it probably all well is, but I'm saying it can be a circumstance where if people in the family are committed to raising that kid with you, in the same way you get surrogates, which have a baby and give it to somebody else, even though it's their kid, they're saying that if somebody else is going to be responsible for raising this kid, I know they're going to be looked after. Like, I'm sure when the kids are like can be born selfish, and old enough, I don't they'll think be thankful this to is be born. for sure one of those situations, hmm. if that makes sense. I don't know. Oh, I think I, I think when it comes to bringing humans onto the earth, I don't. I, I personally, I can't see where that's never selfish. Like, I, hmm. I know things are spectrums, but I don't think this is a spectrum. Person, I don't think everything is a spectrum. I think if you're that old, then you are. You're literally chancing the odds of whether you're going to be around, and then you're putting the burden of humans on other people. Yeah, but they might have accepted that burden. They might have said, do it. I want that yeah. burden. Well, yeah, well, we don't know the full story. We don't know. We don't know the full story. Or they might say, we want to raise a kid as a family. Right? And they're like, we want kids. Perfect. You try and have the kids. Anything goes wrong, we'll raise them. Yeah. Let's hope that happened. Hmm. Let's hope. Or, or um, maybe they have adopted children before and they wanted children that were from... The, their own genetics, I guess. Feed. 
So as can... much as that's not in the article, I'm going to guess they don't have adopted children. I feel like that would just, be in the article. We're, I, that's I, true. I, we're, we're finishing the story. Hey, it's for not you. in the article, but it's not not in the article. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't say exclusively they have not adopted children. Yes. Is that in the article? No. So I could be right. <laughs> Siege, you know what? If I like I'm ever that. going to court, like if I'm going to court, I want you as my lawyer. Yeah. Because you're going to say, he did not not, not say that. <laughs> <laughs> he did, did he not say not. it? Maybe he did. Maybe he didn't. Who knows? <laughs> is there? Is it? Is it in the recording? <laughs> well, there you go. That's interesting. That yeah. is uh, sixty-eight. Pretty That's old. The most. The most surprising thing to me is the fact that they got it done. Like I don't. Mm. I'm. I'm a massively play- flabbergasted. Because yeah. I can't think of a better word. <laughs> I think most people That's a good word, though. turn them away. A lot of places said no, but yeah. I realised I've never seen the word C- caesarean written down, I don't think. It is a, it's a spelled. tricky word to spell, yes. Caesarean. Where, where is I, it? It's also spelt differently depending where you where you live. No, I just see the C-sec oh, really? all the time, not caesarean. <laughs> C-sec. I see C-section, but it says elective caesarean. C-A-E-S-A-R-E-A-N. Caesarean. But it depends where you Chris? live. Huh. Is that how you spell Caesar? Set? No, I don't know. Hey guys, I just realised that I forgot to put the nine minutes on. Yeah, no. That's okay. That's no problem. No problem. We'll just roll the punches. <laughs> so anyway, hopefully these children and the parents live many more years of health A long and happiness. Pros- prosperous. Yes. And, and and if not, their adopted brother or sister, I'm sure will, will cherish the responsibility of raising those children. <laughs> he said <laughs> that may or may not be there. There we go. That may or may not be there, but it could be. But it couldn't not. be. <laughs> All right. All right. Now.